in the studio sa we we'll talk about Asante Kotoko we will talk about Ediana we've played 21 matches in the Ghana Premier League so far what is your fair assessment of that I think we are having a good season in the Ghana Premier League BBI Koye like the way we are expecting it to go quality of football surprising team you know making some surprises in the Ghana Premier League a team like Samates is one of them Dreams FC showcasing some good football. They are one of the Mediana stars. After you know losing up the Premier League last season to Mediama Football Club, they are back in the season. Even though they are missing their top scorer in the first round, that is you know Isaac Minta. He's not part of the team during the second round, but by today he's back into the team. When we look at their performance this particular season, exceptional. I don't know whether Nations FC could do what Mediana stars as the only club who has been able to do the Premier League division. Ultimate team season, nation. And we have team quality players to 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 join their team for this particular season. But a team like BBN Gold Stars, or must start to pick up in the second round. You know, some of these players like Kwabena Usu, Apia Makati, and all these players, or must start to show up in the second round of the Ghana Premier League. So let's see how things will go for them. A team like Pando House of Lions. So far, the two home games on which we have Pando in the second round, they've been able to pick the maximum six points. So it tells you Pando Heart of Lions and Abashi Hayford also have started the season well. Uh, second round, it looks like they are on the verge of you know surviving in the Ghana Premier League. When you look at the kind of things they are doing in you know Pando, almost to miss five years, I would say it's a good season for Dr. Randy Aben, of course. Bashi Hayford, one of the experienced coaches that you can get in the Ghana Premier League. So they're one of the teams trying to make you know the league successful. A team like Bofakatano. After changing coaches from, you know, coach from four months so to coach Eduardo, I saw more struggle. Yeah. But the most important thing is, when you away draw back, it looks like everybody is talking about them. That is, mm. the away draw against Hasufu. Game that ending in the 1 1 draw. It looks like, and then a man for Eme, Omenya Hope say, things that we saw in the first five games in the first one under from four months, so may happen again mm. for them in the second one under Coach Eduardo because, you know, Saka is back into the team trying to do wonders for them. And it looks like second round, no, after that particular draw, Omenya against Hasso Folk, no, he may ship that um, team no performance in the second round. So it looks like Bofo is one of the teams that uh, almost warm up in the second round. Teams be so struggle. A team like out you. Financial problems, it looks like they are struggling. Even when they want to play away games, they struggle to raise money for their away games. So, many opportunity is still kind in the Ghana Premier League. So, I think a team like out to air struggle. Abu Bakar Adamba, you stay as a goalkeeper to a goalkeeper's coach to now a head coach of a team like Karela United. Moving to Nayalugu, on the opportunity against Asante Kotoko, pick a win. It's my travel about Sugar Cup. Now, I'm a big win for them. So, big Kotoko in Nayalugu. Yes. I'm a soccer copy. I'm a picky at draw against Olympia. On to be called before away in Sunday Cup. Picked the maximum three points. It's not fair. I picked the next three points at home. So it tells no Olympia so warm you yourself under Jimmy Cobbler. The likes of Emmanuel Entry, Glass Nawako back into the team. Rasa Kasim and Yusuf try to make the difference for Olympia's football club. So it looks like in the second round, Nyama yes, but it's most of these teams a bit my you know. I started getting in the Ghana Premier League. So we had the league log. No, let me show the way it's here. Obubaka said a team like Dreams FC and the media man, their season is about to start again because Omunya, you know, destructive period in the first round because they were combining the interclub competition and of course the Premier League. So Obasha Omut may parley about two, three, four games at Chiaso. No more combine interclub competition in the Champions League and the Confederation. No more better back. I'm still carrying the Premier League. So who said Omunya divided attention, Kakra? But the good thing is that Media Ma is coming back into the city now. Oh, GBS said they can do something in the second round so that they can win the Ghana Premier League. All their best players available to them, apart from, you know, their main striker, Wejaho, echo a different country in, you know, uh, 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 Jonathan Sowa. But they brought in the Yossi Taylor and, of course, Lomote Daniel Lomote, formerly of Wafo, no junior opportunity to call Algeria. So it looks like the Media Ma, the core of them are still around. But Bambusa, Young Michel, all these players are still available. What I say, Kofi Asma, and of course, New Din, all these players are available for them. Kamal Dini, and of course, Fatal Hamidou, Omuni are available for them. So it's still media mana, a new in the first round, and of course, last season, you know, the year, Kofi said, Omut, me, I left here for more performance in the second round. Dreams are the same. Even though they are key player, Abdul Aziz Isa, 
a star with the, the, the black star than the 20 the U20. Team, the U20. He scored the last time for them. Absolutely. Oh, would you come with him? But mm. they still have some quality players. Be a two hene, all these players doing wonders for them. John Enchi, one of the key players. Jalilu, one of the best defenders of in the Premier League, also available to them. And of course, Omo Mudipa, a watching a genim, a key player for Dream City Football Cup. So it looks like, per what I've seen in the second one, how are things uh, prepared? About second round, I will say, sir, we have a second round to watch in the Ghana Premier Look at the teams from that mid table, also so how they are warming themselves up. A team like Akra Lions in the space of two games, almost much eight goals, five goals against Brooklyn Chelsea in their home game, and three goals against Asante Kotoko in an away game against a team like Asante Kotoko. I think so that it was the like most surprising result in my day 21. I will not be surprised to score three goals against Kotoko at the Barbera Sports Stadium. I will not be surprised to bear one of the surprising results mm. in this particular season in the Ghana Premier League. Mm. Team way ever Ghana Premier League, they've not won against Kotoko before. Yeah. So for them to travel to Kumasi, a young boy. Try to make sure somebody they stabilize us and talk about difference by scoring those number of looking goals. Looking at what is on our screens, the form guide of Accra Lions, and they've scored eight goals in two games. It tells you, you know, Ibrahim Tanko and team they are picking up. Accra Lions is gradually warming themselves into the Ghana Premier League. So, Mutala, I will say so far the second round of what I've seen. I will not be surprised. I've been coming here since seven games to end the season now. The league name tends to never cost no, and you see quality players involving in the, most of the games. Many opportunity after in the Premier League. Now talking about Accra Lions, this was the game they played against Kumasi Asante Kotoko, and boy oh boy, they tore the Kotoko team to shreds. I mean, scoring from all angles, and Kotoko could not match their pace. That is one thing I saw. I said one more pace, no energy, no on the day the porcupines were nowhere closer and to they them. Brought the weakness in the three back system of Asante Kotoko. They brought their three back system, no, the weakness, no, in the team. Though that is why I, I'm in the report I made to you, man, and say, Coach Prosper Nete Ogum, I reverted back to the back four. When you know, someone like someone go find the fee, mm. but for by playing their right back, Nicolas Osebonsu, Henry Ansu, Justice Blay, Andrew Sinti Menu, Richmond Lamte, Baba Yaya, Pitami Nu Aqua. Opportunity, but together with you know, Kalu Atara and Steve Mukwala are fronts. So it has forced Prosper and to Ogum to make changes okay. into the team, revert back to the back four instead of the back today. So it looks like this particular game they exposed the Kotoko. Okay. For people to know that the team, the gradual and the three back system, no, okay. and now for a warm mm -hmm. in the Premier League. Now, Albert Corti has also joined us in the studio. Albert, you know all about Accra Lions because yes. your former your player, <laughs> Frederick Asari, used to play for them. And now, this game against Kotoko, it was a different Accra Lions team. and Kotoko never were able to match their energy. Yeah, you see, Mutala, I was so surprised. Uh, I mean, pick that player, mm -hmm. the Suman player, because I was in Kumasi for the KGL under 17 tournament, and mm -hmm. that guy was on fire in the under 17 tournament. So I was, I was expecting Kotoko being the host, I mean, city for this under 17 tournament to pick these young guys mm -hmm. and maybe start from the Kotoko under 20, and then in, 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 in years. But I was surprised they left him for Akralans to go and pick him. I watched that game and I was surprised Kotoko I mean, gave up so very early. You could see that they couldn't pick the pace of Akra Lions. And you know the, the game plan of Akra Lions? Theirs was to just soak the Kotoko pressure, pick them on the counter because they have swift wingers and they took advantage of Kotoko's, I mean, three back system and then they, they exploited them. Mm -hmm. So I was expecting Prosper Ogun to change the system in the second half to curtail the surging rounds of the wingers. And I don't know why he kept on playing the way he wanted. And they considered three goals in the in, in the game. I was surprised to see a club like Akala who over the years have not been able to beat Kotoko. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time they were able to beat Kotoko in, a, in an important game like this for Kotoko. Mm -hmm. So I think Kotoko should just change their system. And I'm, I'm and I'm happy that Nanedu made that statement that Kotoko, from the news that he's hearing, they have changed the, the formation to the back four. And, as, and I'm expecting them to play a very compact game in 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 Doma, mm. so that they can get a good score line. At least a draw in Doma should 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 be good for Kotoko. Now Kumasi Asante Kotoko having started the second round on the good note, there they've uh, lost three games and won one, and that is not good for Prosper Nati Ogum and his charges. You're still watching Start Times at the Pa Channel Two Four Seven, and we are building up to that. The clash out then Anajima Bedu Park. It is Adriana who are hosting Kotoko. Omumi and Nunina, our last game, Omudi and Kuku. So both teams are looking at getting back to winning ways. So we'll talk more about these two teams, but we want to take a quick break here on start time. Don't go nowhere. We will be back shortly.
To make it to Awuni, can he score? And Awuni fails to score, but Asante Kotoko left off the hook. Good counter attack movement from Akra Lions. And Nuruddin did well. Asante Kotoko will get us going for second hour of action. Poor dance from Blay. Here is Dankwa, he's got the pace, he's caught the first, Dankwa again, brilliant goal! Two goals, and this one is a wonder goal. Blessing Asumai Dankwa, what a Premier League season he's having. Only three games in the Premier League and he scored four goals. Scored the first goal, was equalized by Kalo Watara, then he took on this one after a very poor clearance from Justice Blay. Good control. On his left foot, he scored the first goal on the right foot. And this one on the left foot. Lamses in swinger. Kotoko coming so close. Kalo Watara. Missing from close range. Zeze. Aqua. Aqua's cross. Mukwala's header. Saved by Owusu. Corner for Kotoko. Good save. And Lamte goes low. Ball is cleared. Accra Lions. Is looking dangerous. Here is Yaya. Yaya outpaces Ensu. It is still Yaya. Can he score the third? And he's missed the pose by Whisker. It's a corner. Bernard Kessi wanted it. But Yaya stayed on his feet despite the challenge from Ensu. Great show of desire from Mohamed Yaya. Mensa who swings one in. Away by Mohamed. As Accra Lions on the offensive again. It can be dangerous. Here is Amponsa. It is Amponsa. He shoots and he scored. The third for Accra Lions. Accra Lions dismantling Asante Kotoko at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. They are up by three goals to one. Unbelievable. They are tearing Kotoko apart. Dominic Amponsa on the score sheet in fantastic fashion. Kotoko 1, Accra Lions 3. Look at where he picked up the ball. He made the run, a solo one of course, and he shot. But you are thinking, should the goalkeeper have done better? So much power behind it, but the goalkeeper should be doing better. Moist Paute. Here is Awuni again. Nuruddin up against Awuni. Can he stop him? Awuni is so skillful. Here is Awuni trying to set up Yaya. Good control from Yaya. Can they score the fourth? But the flag is up for offside. The flag is already up. These guys are toying with the Asante Kotoko defense as and when they want. It's Ensu. Good ball to Somoa. Can he get one back? And Somoa scores the Kotoko second goal to make it 3 2. Somoa scores for Asante Kotoko. Good ball from Henry Enzo. Good control from the young star goalkeeper Andres Owusu completely beaten. The calmness to convert. Go Baba, take it. And Baba kills one. Good goalkeeping. Here is Lamte. Lovely skill. He picks up Aqua. Here is Aqua. Sends a cross. He takes a deflection onto the woodwork. And Kotoko coming close to the equalizer is a goal kick.
wicked, wicked deflection of Jima, saved by the crossbar. Kotoko are trailing, but they still have the luxury of time wasting as Lamte goes to take the corner instead of Baba, and he's done it very poorly. Coach under pressure, two successive defeats. It's not a pleasant story for a coach who is in his second stint with the club and still failing to convince them that he deserves to be here. It's over, and Accra Lions have shocked Asante like that and you could see that the demeanor of the Asante Kotoko players was one uh, that uh, had sadness all over their face. Their fans were clearly not happy because the Carlisles ever since they gained promotion to the Ghana Premier League had never beaten Kumasi Asante Kotoko and that was the first time. It was a painful pill to swallow especially it being at uh, the Barbera Sports Stadium and I was trying to recollect if Kotoko have lost any game at the Barbera Sports Stadium. This year in the league then I remembered Azizi says beautiful free kick for Dreams FC as the beat Kotko. So two defeats at home, not looking good for the Porcupine Warriors. But they have an opportunity to bounce back to winning ways or make amends today because they are coming up against Adriana. And some three seasons ago, Kotoko went to the Nanaji Mabedu Park and got a 2-0 victory. I remember that game very well. It was uh, George Infege and of course Richmond Lamte that scored for them. Today, they are coming up against an Adriana side that also lost their last game. So let's see how that one will go. My name is Mutala. You're still watching Star Times. Albert Kote uh, is in the studio as well as Nana Edu. Now, Albert, clearly you can see that there is something missing within this Kumasi Asante Kotoko team. Nanedu Dabene Yani Niko Nidako Kasta and on radio Max 89.7 Thursday. Yani Nidako the fan chief Ekasa Kotoko's fan chief. And on one Kasa, it's like he doesn't really know the problem that is with the team but he mentioned one key area he said the absence of sharif muhammad is really affecting the team and if you look at the games that kotoko have lost it seems they are too easy to play through especially in the middle i i disagree with Nidaku when he lumps all kotoko's problem to the absence of no he said one of the factors it is one of the factors. very well yeah. very well but i i believe mm. uh, the problem should be on the side of coach prosper Nateukum. i believe he has been so much i mean of himself mm -hmm. like he's not listening because a lot of people have propounded solutions to kotoko's problem but it seems he's so focused on what he believes in and he's instituting just what he believes in at every game when when he loses he changes a whole set sometimes change about five players he loses a game he changes the keeper even today he has changed the keeper he should tell you that this man is not consistent when it comes to his decisions with selection in really there's a defeat and when you have a coach who's not consistent with his selection, it becomes very difficult for him to pick his rhythm. And I think the, the lackluster performance of Kotoko is based on that. And you could see that they have lost a spirit. I don't know which kind of spirit but, that they have lost. But once you lose a game, you would be forced to tweak certain things. It means what you put out there did not work, so you need no, to but, fix it. But sometimes it's just hard luck. Sometimes it's just hard luck. You don't have to change, I mean, the set of players because you have lost. Sometimes it's just that maybe the opposing teams were better than you on that day, mm -hmm. just that day not all the time so i i think they have lost that that spirit and you know when, when you have two successive defeats and there's pressure coming from the fans coming from management i mean you know kotoko is very huge outside ghana inside ghana you know they are calling for change and the moment you see that i mean the coach panics and he start making i mean experiments and all that so i think the spirit with kotoko right now is based on a successive defeat mm -hmm. they should just come out rise up again this is just football there are three things involved even though for kotoko or house of folk it is a best right to win all your matches. That is what the fans expect. Now they do. Uh, Adriana used to be like a boogie side to Kotoko, but for some few seasons now, Kotoko have had joy uh, against them. Only last season where Adriana had the 1 0 victory in the FA Cup. But this is the form guide of Asante Kotoko going into the game. I told you that since the second round started, uh, they've won only one game but before the second round the last game they played before the second round was against Bofakwatano they got a 2-0 victory and when the second round started they visited Pando where Heart of Lions beat them by a goal to nil and maybe any goal stars uh, also lost to them by a goal to nil it was a good victory for them but since then it has been back-to-back -back defeats for the Porcupine Warriors. Karela beating them by a go to nil in Naledgu. And the last time out at the Barbera Sports Stadium, Accra Lions scoring three pass Asante Kotoko. That is why I was talking about this particular game and the game they will play next week. I think it's a crucial moment for Prosper Ogum. 
when to man pk at least three or four points out of these two games are uh, pressure about us the Diana stars game uh, is a game uh, it puts pressure on us at the Kotoko football club and postman that you understand he has done a lot of changes in the starting lineup compared to what they played last weekend and the Diana stars are also picking at the right time because they fall this is their season, they need to come back and win the Ghana Premier League. And they brought in some one or two players and some few experienced players who have tasted the Premier League in recent times. So it makes this game against Kotoko a crucial game against them. But for Asante Kotoko, they need to make a statement today, at least to play good football against the Diana Stars. So when you look at this game coming on at the Doma Park, it's a crucial game for Prosper de Teogum. There's a lot of pressure on him looking at the kind of changes he has done within the team. There are a lot of pressure on him because the, the hierarchy have a lot of belief in Poshwan Dutogun that he can make a lot of changes and bring the best results on Kotoko team. But it's not going well. Looking at the three games of Abo <coughs> in away games. Oshe against Aka Lions. Oshe against Heart of Lions. And of course, the game of Oboye against Karela. It's a game that like just say Kotoko will a lot of work to do because these are teams are more battle for relegation. And you struggle. To get the result against this opposition, it puts pressure on you. So, Kotoko should showcase good football today in Doma. Kotoko should showcase good football in Doma. We would uh, see if that will happen because we are a few minutes away from kickoff at uh, the Nana Ajima Bedu Park. Now, Albert, let's talk about Adriana themselves. Uh, it has been the top TV season for them, ups and downs. As we come with Nimka Kra, then there is a blip on the way. But in all that, you can take away the fact that Yahweh Champon has done a brilliant job because to fill the shoes of Parkwesi Fabian, who was always nearing the league, it is not easy. And you look at what Adriana have done so far. They are not far away from the top. They are not even far from the top. They are second on the league log with 33 points. A win today would push them closer to some attacks. But this is also their form guy coming into the game. As you know, four games have been played in the second round. So before the first round ended, they also uh, lost to Inswatemad by a goal to now. Then they beat Dreams FC by four goals to one. Lost to Samatex by two goals to one. With Emmanuel Keke scoring that beauty for Samatex. But they got a 1-0 victory over Legon cities and their last game saw some more boy do beat them by a goal to nil so they are also coming into this game on the back of the defeat one thing that <laughs> has affected adriana greatly <clears throat> has been the loss of their home invisibility the nanaj mabedu park used to be a slaughterhouse how do they make that place scary again you know games between asante kotoko and doma i mean adriana stars it's not a game that we should consider as a as just an ordinary game it's a great a game because it doesn't are former champions of the ghana premier league kotoko uh, i mean the the highest i mean league winners in uh in in ghana and you know the rivalry between them it goes beyond football and and i believe that today will not be an exception uh when you look at adriana stars they are they can lose many games, as, as, as you may say it, but when it's against Kotoko, the, the, the atmosphere is very different. If you go to Doma right now, the atmosphere is very different. And the feedback I'm getting is that uh, even pre-match, there's tension during, during the pre-match that was held uh, for them by the, by the league board. So we should tell you the kind of game that we expect. What I know is, it doesn't start when it's, it's against Kotoko, they rise. And Kotoko, like, like you said earlier, last three seasons, they made a, a dramatic win in, in, in Doma. That was very important to them, and that was the reason why they even won the league. Mm. They did very well by, by beating Adriana Stars in, in Doma. And you know, uh, Coach Asari, the previous coach before Pagos, he was saying that if Kotoko had not won in Doma over the years, why should he stem as a coach? Kotoko should come and win. So you see the kind of seven that he was making at that time. Okay. So I think uh, Doma, I mean, Adriana Stars, will do what they have to do to win the game, but I believe Kotoko after two successive losses should come back stronger. Okay, with the lineup I have in front of me, producer may have to verify uh, for me if it's not a mistake because I'm seeing just 10 players starting for Adriana. I've seen it before where they didn't start with 11 players, they started with 10, remember? Yeah, yeah. And I'm seeing 10 players starting from Adriana and I'm seeing 11 players 
on the side of Asante Kotoko. So I don't know, producer, you would have to verify for me if it's not a mistake because this is the official team list that I have in front of me before I go through the lineup. But if we can see uh, the form guide of uh, the head to head of the two teams uh, again, so the head to head of the two teams, we'll, we'll get that uh, very soon. But I don't know if Nanedu, you've also had the, the, the lineup with you because what I have in front of me, it's only 10 players who are starting for Adriana. We've seen it before and in association football it is not a crime it is legal to start with 10 players i mean you can start with seven players if yeah. they're offered so i don't know if that is what adriana wants to do because i've seen them do that some time ago about four seasons ago they started with 10 players yeah, against us and both teams started with 10 players yeah both teams started with 10, 10 players then navigator is yeah. okay so uh, let's see i'll go through the lineup shortly but again let's come back to kumasi asante kotoko there's been huge criticisms on Prosper Nati Ogum with the kind of purchases he made, especially with the youngsters like the Germanists. Uh, I mean, you can talk about the Peter Aqua Amidu. People say they are not up to scratch when it comes to playing for Asante Kotoko. Do you side with them? Yeah, I think, you know, these are young players. You know, Michael Chiyamna is quite okay because of experience from mm. West African Football Academy. He was there for some time, became the captain of the side. Rocky Jamina just finished SHS last year the young player in the kotoko team and of course for what i'm hearing today both of them are not starting today's game it's rather andrew Sintimenu yeah. who is starting in the midfield together with uh richmond Lamte as the double pivot in the kotoko team so the two of them are not available though they were struggling to replace the sheriff mohammed the, the midfielder who had a motor accident in tamale so it tells you it's a critical moment for Santa <laughs> kotoko but you know they are still going for the front two with Kalu Watara and Steve Mukwala, with Peter Aminuakwa and Mabaya operating from the flanks. So it tells you a lot of changes in the team. So when you compare the previous teams from Mabaya in recent times, it looks like Kotoko is making a lot of change in the team. They are young players in the team. And I think sometimes some of these players need to learn and gather experience from the, the senior guys so that they can be warming themselves into the team gradually. But it looks like at the end of the two, I must say now they, they have to deliver for Santiago to football club. A player like Peter Aminuakwa has been one of the outstanding players this particular season for the club. So when he's starting games nowadays, I don't think it's a big news on the mm. side of Kotoko supporters. So okay. Peter Aminuakwa will to make him appear as one of the best players in the team. A player like you know Nicolas Osebonsu and Samuel Asamoah is starting for the first time in a long period of time. So it tells you change is now, but now let's see what will happen in a game against Adiyama in Dona Doma. Okay, so Kotoko's last two games have all ended in. Uh, last two away games have all ended in a defeat for them 1-0 against Karela and they lost by that same scoreline against Heart of Lions in Pando but they won against Bofuakwa they also drew against Great Olympics and beat Heart of Folk by three goals to two so uh, we take a quick break here when we return I take you through the lineups Adriana seemed to be starting with 10 players Asante Kotko 11 players reason behind that I do not know we'll be right back this is start times at the patch channel 247 
Welcome back from that break. You're still watching Star Times at the Patch Channel 247, and we are building up to that bigger Ghana Premier League a match day 22 clash other than Anajima Bedupak. It is Adriana FC coming up against Kumasiya Santikotko. Whenever these two sides meet, it is fireworks. Ayoja, it's in there. We don't expect anything less than what we've seen from them, and we know we are going to have a very good game other than Anajima Bedupak. It is the clash that everyone is talking about. Both teams are coming off the back of defeat, so. It is only three points that is on their minds. But that is not the only game that it will be played. I've told you that Bechem United will also take on Legon Cities today. Maybe any goal starts with Facebook for Quartano. Iron Dreams would engage Samatex. Carella will take on RTU. Uh, that is... I know that's on my ball stream. And if you if you talk Nations FC would also take on Brecum Chelsea within Swatman facing Mediema. Then tomorrow it's Heart of Folk against Heart of Lions as Barbara. That game will be played at 6 p.m. But on Tuesday, it is Accra Lions against a Great Olympics. Now, talking about Ebiana and Kotoko, let's look at the head to head of the two sides going into this big one. I told you that for some time now, Ebiana uh, have not really uh, been able to put Kotoko to the sword. So the last five matches that have been played between both sides, this is how. Since Dan Asante Kotko in 2022 beat them by two goals to zero. I told you about that one where George Infege and Rich Lamte scored for them. Then Kotoko drew 1 1 with them. Goalless in 2023 before Kotoko had the 2 1 victory. And the last game that they played was a match day five encounter in this year's league. And Kotoko got a 1 0 victory over them. Ketsi and Steve. Mukwala strike there. So it was a good one for, uh, sorry, it was Kalu Atara that scored for them and uh, Kotoko got uh, that victory. Now they do. Now Kumasi Sante Kotoko have not been able to score a lot of goals. Uh, but you have a lot of chances falling to Steve Mukwala. A player who was brilliant for them last season. He scored about eight goals this season in the league. But he could have scored more. I think there are, there are, there are a lot of issues within the club. That is uh, why some of these players, the team is not getting the best out of them. The contract issue of Steve Mokwala and Steve Walanti uh, is on their shoulders and it has affected their performance. I am, uh, the kind of football now, you say those two players, they see Academy, you know, we don't see that. No, I understand when you offer from a Sweden club and they want him to terminate his contract before he moved to Sweden and Kotoko is reluctant in doing that. So, and also affecting the performance in the Kotoko team. So these are key things that affect players' performance in big clubs. And I think Kotoko needs to find a way to address such issues within the club. So in a game like this, some of these players have more opportunity you know, to be able to showcase their talent and you know play good football for, for, for their respective clubs. So I'm expecting them to come good today, but it's going to be a difficult game against the Diana Stars. Court, uh, Diana Tom, top scorer, uh, that is Isaac Minta. He scored nine goals, but they still have a certain bright AJ around. Yeah, you know, Bright is an old fox, and yeah. he's been he has seen this derby a lot of times, and I don't think it, it will be new to him. But you see, when you look at the form of Isaac Minta before leaving Ghana, I think he was on top of the game of his game, and I was expecting him to even win the the goal game before they allowed him to to move out of the country. Because when you look at the game or the kind of play that he exhibited for Adrian Stars, he, he was in in a in a very good form for him to have that I mean that accolade or that title to his name, but. They have Bright AJ, somebody who understands this derby so much. I think Kotoko should not underrate, I mean, the striking instinct of Adrian Astas, even without the likes of Isaac Minta. You know, even at the old age of Yam Mohamed when they were playing, they were still giving clubs, I mean, tough times at Roma. And when it's Roma, you should, you should expect something different from the players. The likes of Samuel Bio and Co, they are still around. And these guys can do anything at any time. So Kotoko should just be, be, be on guard. They shouldn't see this game as a game that they can underrate because it's just one of the old rivalry that they have had with the likes of Akras of Oak and Ashanti Go. They should consider this one as part of them. And when you look at this very game with the with the drama and uh, 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 Kumasi factor, yeah. I think they should understand what is at stake. Mm -hmm. And both teams losing before this game shows that no team or their fans will not allow mm. or will not agree for any of them to lose. Okay. That would be a very good, a, a, very, a, a very big disaster. So what I have before, before me with uh, the Kumasiya Sante Kotko lineup is that Frederick Asari is in post. He has been uh, giving the Black Stars call up uh, to Otoado's team that will be playing uh, the friendly, the upcoming friendly matches. So he is in post. Justice Blay is starting this one. Steve mm. Mukwala is also in the Harry Asu would be playing and Kalu Watara. He scored the only goal when the two sides met the last time in uh, the first round. 
Brown. Then Richmond Lamte will captain the team. Baba Yaya returns her to the starting 11. Andrews in team Menu. Uh, he started when Prosper Natogum took over, but he has been out for some time. He's back into the team. Samoa Asamoah is in there. Nicolas Osebonsu, I believe he will be starting as a left back. Then we have Peter Amidu Aqua. So no place for Eric Zeze and no place for the likes of Sharif Mohamed and Moises Pate. Porte is back on the bench. Nanedu, solid lineup from Asante Kotoko. Yeah, you know, the most important thing is they are back to the back four. And I don't know how it will work for them today uh, unless I watch the first 45 minutes and I will you know, know whether you know, the four back system, every club now, and I said going forward, you know, they have to change back to the three back system again. But it looks like, you know, a promising lineup. Most of these players coach need more opportunity to also exhibit what they can do for the club. So, Mutala, I think is a strong lineup for Kotoko. Very strong lineup from Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Frederick, back in the post. Uh, Moses Poate did not really cover himself in glory. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it becomes very difficult for a goalkeeper who has not kept the post for uh, a lot, a lot for Asante Kotoko this season. Comes in against the Carolina Lions and consists three. You know, sometimes I, I, I wonder how mm. some of the fans, I mean, interpret the game. Yeah. It's not, it's not so easy to take out a goalkeeper from the post. But I know, I know a lot of people were shouting and they were clamoring for Moise Poate to come in to be imposed, to be imposed, and then to be imposed. And this is somebody who has not been imposed, I mean, consistently. He was very consistent with the FA Cup because I think they, they shared the responsibility among them where he was taking in charge of the FA Cup. And you know, Kotoko were booted out by Karela uh, the last time they played in the, in the I think, in the, in the round of 32. Yeah. So, so when they were booted out, people were still clamoring for uh, 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 Moise, Moise Partey to be imposed. And Prosper gave him the chance to, I mean, kept or to keep the post for Kotoko against Akalaos, and we saw what happened. I don't see it as a disaster. I saw it as maybe somebody who has not been so familiar with the, with the, with the post in the Ghana Premier League, because he has not had enough chance to be in post in the Ghana Premier League. So you okay. don't expect him to be that superlative when mm. it comes to a game like that. So I think they have changed him for now. Mm. Maybe they can give him other chances. As I being post, I think it's good for them. This is a national asset. Uh, he, has, he has been handed a call up for for the Black Stars, and it, I think it's good for Kotoko, and it's good for the player. Now, uh, it has been rectified. So now, Adriana are starting with 11 men. I think uh, it was an, an error from uh, those who actually uh, brought the lineup up. So this is how Adriana are lining up. Masudu, uh, Masaudu Inusa is starting for them in post. Bright J is captain in the side. Anderson Fifia Samwai is in there. Rich Saki, Silas Shreme is also started. Kelvin Obin, Frank Owusu, the midfielder, Alex Boache would <laughs> also be starting for them. Richard Mahama is in there. Jeff Emanuel, a former Kumasi Sante Kotoko player, is also started for Adriana and Richard Efriye. So now, uh, it has been confirmed. It's only 11-11. But let's go to the Nanaji Mabedu Park because the coaches have something to tell us ahead of this game. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. These days, Kotoko and Adriana stars is one of the biggest games on the Ghanaian football calendar. What are expectations from this big one? I think it's a big one, so people should expect the best uh, from both sides. You've reacted to the defeat in Chelsea by making a couple of changes to the team that lost to Chelsea in Brekum. Shaibu drops to the bench. Alex Boachi returns after renewing his contract. Risaki is also in starting today. What is the idea behind this starting lineup? I think we are, uh, we are trying to... Uh, uh, we are trying to hold the ball as much as we can and then attack uh, when we have uh, uh, when we, we, we have uh, uh, we have time to uh, penetrate we will force them to open up and penetrate that is why you see that lineup they've lost back to back games to Karela and Accra Lions what opposition are you expecting from them I think we also lost the last game and we can't lose two at the same time so I think we have to do everything possible to have the day. It, it will be a very tough match, but I believe if we are able to, to work tactically, it will be okay for us. There's a psychological game currently going on among the Kotoko fans who say Prosper Nate Ogum has not lost a game as coach of Kotoko against the Duana Stars. This time he's coming up against the Awe Champon. What should we expect? Let's see how it goes. It's football, so let's see how it goes. Just to have your sights on the Premier League title? 
yeah, we are we are second on the log and winning today will, will, will push us or boost us. So I think we have to do everything to this is the trade in the second round, so we still have to push and see how it goes. You've won nine games at this venue, yet you've been beatable here as well. You lost to Salmon Sex and Accra Lions. Does that play on your mind ahead of this game? Yeah, when you look at the the the, the league table, it's not only us. I think some of us also lost at home. Kotoko also lost at home. We also lost at home. So, like I'm saying, it's football. Anything at all can happen. But I pray everything work according to plan. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, hello, coach. Hello, Nana. Back to back defeats in Karela and Accra Lions. What's the feeling among the playing body ahead of this game? Yeah, Nana, you are right. It was a back to back defeat by the boys. They are mature enough to know what is ahead of us. <sighs> Throughout the week, they've been working hard. And you could see in our warm-up, you could see the way they are playing. Yeah, they are ready. You, you spoke to me about the energy levels of the Accra Lions players when you lost to them, about the fact that modern-day football is all about running, running, running. What have you done at training this week to ensure that they don't come up against the same problem today? Now, there is something we are all missing. Because... We've, within less than one month, we play seven matches. In exactly one month now, we are playing the eighth match. But when I said football is about running, running, a lot of people, yeah, thought I've not been on top of my uh, work. But this is it. Fatigue set in. And you could see in their play against Accra Lions. Banana, these boys are professionals. They will give you a good game today. I've seen the kind of team you lined up today. Fortunately, your goalkeeper has been under the Black Stars call-up. He returns to the starting lineup. I've seen Kote drop to the bench. It's been a long while since Samuel Samuel played. He's starting today. Nuruddin is not in the match. There's Kodosebos who steps in. Tedeku is out. Inti Menu comes in. Zeze is out. Aqua steps in. You've made six changes to the team. Yeah, Nuruddin, accumulation of yellow cards. Quote, accumulation of yellow cards. <laughs> That's why they are not here with us. Join your first team with Kotoko alongside Prospanate Ogum. You beat the Diana Stars 2-0 two, two here. Is that still fresh in your mind? Yeah, I told you in our last press that we've beaten them before and we can beat them again. What's the worst outcome so, you want to take back to Kumasi? And we just want a decent result home. Is it justified? <laughs> Coach David Oklu saying that yeah. fatigue has uh, set in. That is why Kotoko could not match a car alliance's uh, energy. Uh, you know, uh, well, well, no, he, he trains with the boys, so. I, I but is it, is, is it an excuse? It's, it's something that shouldn't come out of a, of a coach like. Uh, I mean, uh, Oklu and a mm. big club like Kotoko. Kotoko played against Accra Lions. You cannot tell me you were tired and they were not tired. This is a big club. This is a, this a, this a former African. This is a former African champion. So you are telling me mm. you play a game, you get tired after 60 minutes. It is something that you shouldn't say anywhere. Hmm. Yeah. Nanedu, uh, Coach David Oklu, or say you can see it's a. Fatigue Abema and Tama boys now. Abre, that is what that is why we saw them play against the Car Lions and they couldn't even run around. And uh, they played about eight games in the space of one month, and that is actually having an effect on the team, on any agony. Hmm. You know, you've been off for six weeks. Team Nukafcon. And they've not been a, a, a season now. Yeah, but second round continues because you break move for six weeks. And you come back, you play seven games, and already you are complaining about fatigue. Oklun Sambabu. On Sambabu. On Sambabu. Oh. I don't think it's an excuse. Okay. I don't think so. But he trains with the boys, so if there's fatigue. Fatigue after seven games. We've played four games in the Premier League. One international friendly against ASEC. One cup game against Enswatrimai, making this game. You're already complaining about fatigue. Oklum Rabiu. 
Well, let's see. So there on your screen says Sibiana warming up and uh, the Porcupine Warriors also uh, took turns to warm up there. The man in uh, your shorts, that is Rich Molante. But I'll bet second round here, Rich Molante, yeah, she didn't win the, the fans are complaining that the fire that he was playing with in the first round. I say uh, Noah Joker cry in the second round. You know, I want to agree that because of his contractual issues, mm. maybe that's why, I mean, the tempo has come down. But we have to agree that uh, you don't expect a player to be on top of his game, I mean, for all the games. And you know, the opponent will not allow him to be or to play the way he wants to play. Mm. The change team, very good in, I mean, being possibly with other players. Mm. And always, the change is playing partner. Tomorrow is, is, is Babaya, Babaya. The next day is uh, uh, Jamna. Another day is another player. So they keep changing the, the midfield pattern for which one I'm telling. I know these things sometimes have, have I mean, tactical effect on the players. Mm -hmm. So if they haven't seen the Rich Molam they saw in the first round, I think it's early days yet. We have played, this is the fourth game. Yeah. We, are, we have about, uh, I mean, 13 or so games to play. So they should just relax. I see a lot of talent in him, and I believe with time he will exhibit everything. Two most important players for Kotoko mm -hmm. is Rich Molam and Steve Mukwala. They are the most important players. The two most important for players. Kumasa Sante Kotoko. And we're here more more Kotoko struggles. But why not Blay? Blay, I'm um, one substitute with Blay. Opportunities in the coach's name for maybe. There is a player in the Kotoko team, Yaya Dawuni. Yeah. I think it's a quality centre house than most of these centre houses who are playing. But opportunity, a bar, how you grab it is the most important thing. No, mm. Dean, I told you earlier on, when your contract is with Sweden, he went to see the management. Omo um, terminate no to win cost Sweden. Management, <laughs> ah, open me dear. First, you can't perform cost Sweden. That is why it's affecting his performance in the Kotoko team. He's not even in the starting lineup today. That one is accumulated yellow card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together with Imano Kotoko. Yeah. So, it, so there are issues within the club they need to address. Okay. You so, cannot play a season like this, crucial moments like this, and two key players. Contract issues is affecting them. The last point is hey. in recent times. Now they do my head though. Who's be so ahead of the new one now for game crying and start here, and he's already sweating like that. This, this is what you get from a Diana Kotoko game. The fans are there in your numbers yeah. to watch this. Doma is always a vibe when it comes, especially to when you are playing against Santi Kotoko. Mm -hmm. It goes beyond footballing reasons. Man, no, I say I don't know whether Timbas Nira Stadium. Mm. You saw it. Kotoko couldn't take their regular bus to mm -hmm. Doma. Because of other issues. Yeah. <laughs> and your football beyond the normal born a mm. And Our political stance. Abra uh, no. about they are all there to watch the Ghana Premier League. That so. is the biggest fish you can get in Doma. Okay. Kotoko playing against the Diana Stars mm. in Doma in group. Mm -hmm. Big game today in Doma. From what I have in front of me, uh, mind you, the game has not yet started. That is why we are still here. Uh, so if you're home and you think it's 3 p.m. and the game has started, it hasn't started at the Nanaji Mabedupa. Game in Shasia, I will cross over and you watch uh, the game. And you will see the game in Shasia. Oh, maybe yeah. Game in Shasia, you will see the game in Shasia. There were other issues mm. that made things delayed yeah, in Doma. Yeah, the delay is delayed. So Pretty much conference, they had issues. Young Kumus is here at Sandy and Sandy Man, he had a better ten years later. But from the lineup I have in front of me, Nanedu Danny, I believe Justice Blay will be playing as a centre back today yeah. together with Harry Ansu because there's no new routine. And looking at the lineup, there's no other player that fits in, in that centre back role. Yeah. Harry Ansu, Justice Blay. Mm. So it means they are moving to the back four. Okay. With Nicolas Osebonsu. Mm. And of course, Samuel Asamoah, Asamoah, formerly of uh, Bofakatano, playing yeah. at the right back. If Ediana would like to pick the maximum three points, mm. that area, the central defense, will be the weakest point of Asante Kotoko. Where Justice Blay will be playing with Ari Against Henry Ansu. Mm. The two of them, almost said that this speed, but, sir. Especially Ansu. But Blay is playing with some form of experience, Albert. I it's mean, because of confidence. He's, he's not pacing. He reminds me of John Terry when he was in his 30s. Uh, he's not that pacing, no, but, but playing with a lot of experience. Even Thiago Silva does that for Chelsea. But Mutala, in the category, a match like this, with so much tension and expectation, I didn't expect to see just Blay play. Why? Well, you wanted match. to see who? I think Kotoko should have, I mean, options when it comes to their centre-back, mm -hmm. regardless of the players. But most on the bench. As a centre-back. Yeah. yeah. 
So, so why would you experiment with Sheriff Blay? Sheriff Junior is the left so, center defender. So why, so why would you experiment just Blay at the center back for the first time? Why would you do that? Now he's played there before. Uh, he's played yeah. in that center back role, uh, but I don't think he. He's really a defensive. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. Even mm. if, if with Real Madrid, mm. the experiments mm. Tramini as a center back. Okay. But you know, if you want to do this, you cannot do this in a category a match like this. Imagine after for me after Kotoko has game. Kotoko Arena Stars game is the second biggest game in a, in a, in a sporting calendar. Okay. So you don't have to experiment players. Later come and give us excuses that there was fatigue and all that. You now, now that you're going into a game like this, it can be tricky for a player who said I'm Bobby Bray. I'm looking at a player like Samoa Asamoa. He's not played enough games for Asante Kotoko. We've seen Justice Bley deputized as uh, the makeshift number two. And then you are coming in, in the, into the lineup in a big game like this. Psychologically, uh, sometimes send a, a play a, in the player's head. Area as I took out, don't lack players is the right back. Aside Imano Kote, mm. they have the one who is starting today, Samuel Asamwa. Fuseni is there, and of course, uh, Augustine Japon is also there. These are players who can all play as a right back. So, right back ends that your problem. They must have to go. There are about four or five players who can play that particular position for Santo Kotoko club. And today, Blaze playing as the head of the central defense. One of the experienced players they have in the team. So let's see what will happen today in Doma. Okay, so let's see what will happen today in Doma. It is going to be a good one. These are live fixtures from the Nanajima Bedu Park. The fans are already there in their numbers and seem to be having a good time. As a Nijino, El Hopan. I'm sure it is going to be an interesting. At the Ghana Premier League on start times is brought to you by High Sense, Medima Pool, Herba Clinic, and Soccer Bet. JB Fresh is supporting us as well, and Max Bai is also supporting us. Live shots from the Nana Ajima Bedu Park and the Empire Na Eja. The people of Doma are in their numbers. Yahweh Champon, big responsibility. But they say, uh, sometimes Albert, the, yes, there's pressure on the home team, even though. Someone will say because of Kotoko's status, there will be more pressure on them to win this game. But your fans are in your biggest game of the season, uh, probably the biggest game that Adriana will be playing this season at the Nanajima Bedu Park. And for pressure on my team, this oh, it does. This, like, like, like we have all agreed that this is a, a game, Irena Stars. I mean, it's is a topmost line, I mean, line up in the, in the Ghana Premier League. So it's a game that comes with a natural pressure. And even without Kotoko or without Irena Stars losing their previous game, it is still a big, a big, a big fixture. Even if they are in a relegation goal zone, it is still a big fixture. So we have to agree that whether it is in the middle of the, of the, of the league, I mean, the start of the league, whether Kotoko is in a good state, it don't start in a, is in a good state or not, it is still a big feature. Like, like Renato said, it goes beyond footballing reasons. And it's the reason why the fans are there in their numbers. Look at how, look at the aura, look at the atmosphere, look at the scenery, it's so nice. For me, this is what makes association football very, very great. The atmosphere is very charged for this game, and I believe. With the best of tactics, I mean, the coach with that will, will obviously carry the day. Of course, and uh, that is what is going to happen there. there but the, the Pocky fans are also in there. The commentator, I won't send you my lineup. No, you know, 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 you you know, 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 studio but uh, that is the beauty of Ghana football we are all in but one man that could cause magic for us and take out today would definitely be Baba yeah yeah he's been so pivotal for them Oboko Choco game now he seemed to make a difference for them all the time I yeah, understand today he's operating from the wings yeah instead of the typical the number 10 rule that you know he will be the main person behind uh, uh, Steve Mukwara because of the two top with Kalu Watara and Mukwala he and Peter Aminuaka are pretty from the wings with which Malamte playing as a typical number eight. And Andrew Sinti Menu is the main pivot in the team. So okay. it makes the team a very strong line. Yeah, they are singing war songs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh,
Okay, so it's that time that we have to cross over to the uh, Nanajima Medu Park for this big one. It is a Biana against Kotoko. Enjoy. Hello, good afternoon, and a pleasant welcome to the Nana Ajiman Bedu, the first pack in Domahinko. It's a Diana FC versus Asante Kotoko. In the top liner of this weekend's fixtures in the Ghanaian top flight, my name is Nana Dakwa Jesse, and I'm your commentator for this afternoon's all important fixture in the Ghana Premier League. It's a